You want to support Roller Mark Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Mark Unfiltered by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, folks. Uh, a couple of days ago, I saw this video on Instagram, and you know, there's been lots of talk about Senator Kamala Harris and her record as, att as attorney general and district attorney. And this one brother, a North Carolina A&T uh, graduate, put together this hilarious video. Uh, I thought it was pretty funny, and I wanted to go ahead and get him on the show just to talk about it. And so uh, check this out. So Kamala Harris... It ain't the fact she black. Howard University, Alpha Chapter, AKA. It's enough to get my attention, but it ain't enough to get my vote. All skin folk ain't kin folk. You better check her record. And I did that, and I found out some things. She dope. Yo, Kamala Harris is almost exactly what you expect from a prosecutor with the credentials I just mentioned. First off, you ain't even qualified to talk about her unless you heard about Back on Track. That's like trying to discuss Jay-Z without hearing reasonable doubt. Back on Track was a restorative justice program for 18 to 24-year-old, first-time, non-violent, low-level drug offenders. Instead of jail or a charge on the record, folk got sent to boot camp where they got job readiness training, parental training, earned a GED, got connected with employers for careers, got their credit fixed. <clears throat> That's a pretty good deal. I'm finna go sell an ounce right now. I'm careful. But for real, once people graduate that program, she threw their charges out like it never happened. That's DA of San Francisco, she made social services help parents with chronically and habitually truant kids. Twitter told y'all she was threatening with jail. Cat. The most important issue for me, really, is that we get these kids into school. Mm -hmm. The goal is not to prosecute parents, it's to get these children to go to school. We are not talking about hooky and playing hooky, and frankly, we all did, okay? Mm -hmm. Nah, they were missing 40 to 80 days. That ain't hooky, that's hiatus. And nobody went to jail. I checked. Sister got them kids back in school and kept them out of incarceration in the grade. She also created reentry initiatives so people in jail could get out and not go back. Convicted over 1,200 domestic abusers. Prosecuted child molesters, rapists, and violent criminals. Transnational gangs got $20 billion back for Cali from the big banks after the foreclosure crisis. Created a civil rights division in the San Francisco DA's office. When she first got in, she threw the charges out for the activists and the protesters who got arrested. Shot a hero. Senator, no disrespect. Not to mention incarceration waste for marijuana charges fell each year she was AG. So much for that theory about her believing in mass incarceration. With Kamala Harris, I'm excited. I'm excited about her plans for gun reform and the HBCU agenda. I'm excited about women's equal pay and the return of consent decrees. I'm excited about black home ownership and a black woman on the Supreme Court. I'm excited about black business is booming, and the D9 step show the day before her inauguration. Y'all know they having a step show. And I'm gonna be there, too, with an $8 fish plate and some mambo sauce. At the end of the day, she the strongest and most prepared and exactly what America need right now. And I look forward to seeing her stroll into the White House in 2021. That's an AKA joke. I hope she don't make her cat members probate, though. Nah, seriously, four to eight years, the D9 jokes are gonna be hilarious. I still ain't been the same since somebody said she gonna put AKA tags on the back of Air Force One. <laughs> Joining me right now is Drew Commons. Drew, how you doing? I'm doing well about yourself, Roland. Thanks uh, for having me. All right, man. First of all, the video is hilarious as hell. Uh, how long did it take you to put it together, and, and why'd you do it? Uh, well, to put it together, uh, let's see. As far as writing it out, you know, testing the thing, I'd say maybe a few hours. Um, we talk maybe about, I say about four or five hours or whatever, just to kind of gather everything I wanted to say because I had all the information. Um, but what made me do it? Um, honestly, it was just out of frustration. Like, it, it was uh, really the negativity that I saw on social media uh, regarding Senator Harris and her record uh, primarily. Not just her record, her identity. It was pretty, pretty much everything. Like, I, I remember as soon as she launched her campaign back in January, somebody on Twitter said, you know, I, I, I'm bracing myself for the amount of massage noir that she's about to experience. And I was like, yeah, it's probably going to be bad. But, yeah, and, and it, you know, people definitely lived up to it. But, um, you know, at first, when I saw the uh, the the information, I was like, "Yo, does this sound like? Does this sound believable to y'all?" Like, I, I, but I feel like it was blow over. And then I be thought back 2016. I was like, "Well, they did say that Hillary was running some sort of operation out of a pizza parlor, so my people might start believing this." But I'm like, "Nah, nobody would do that." And it just kept going and going. And I'm like, "Wait a minute, have y'all looked?" So I, I had to go ahead and start digging and looking up for record. And if it wasn't for that negativity, I probably never would have done the amount of research that I actually did do. Um, and, uh, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm dropping this video because, like, it, it's just, it, I just wanted to say something. So, there you have it. So, you, so, when you started, you were, you were not necessarily a Senator Kamala Harris supporter, yes or no? Oh, I already, already was, already was. Like, I, first of all, I called this, I'm just going to put this on record, you know? I called, I knew she was going to, like, put her hat in the ring. As a matter of fact, I got the Instagram post to prove it. I got, <laughs> this had to be back in, like, 2000 and... It had to be prior to maybe 2015, 2016. Like it was just some about when when I when she said that she was going for the Senate, I was like, hold up, wait a minute. Um, it's just it it was just real, you know, just just 
I'm not saying predictable, but it looked like for a while that, that, that she would be somebody who would be a contender. Um, fact, uh, also, right after the 2016 election, Sinbad was actually on the uh, the Breakfast Club, as a matter of fact, and he made a mention of her, too. He was like, yo, I think the one will be Kamala Harris. I got that clip of this, too. But um, So I, I was like, hey, man, if she put her hat in the ring, I don't know anybody else from an HBCU, especially the MEDAC, you know what I'm saying? That's my conference, so um, who most you know identifies with my cultural experience. So I was like, yo, she runs. I'm with her. And then, sure enough, she did it. So I was like, oh, yeah, we got it. Joseph, you got a question? Uh, yeah. Uh, how, you took you a long time to put this together. What's been the reaction? How, 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 what's been the feedback? It's gone viral. Have people been agreeing with you? Have people been, like, trying to, you know, tear down what you're saying? What's been the Yeah, they're hating you. <laughs> so here's the thing. It's actually been all, been mostly love. I'm going to say about 98, 99% love, man. Like, for everything, like, for all the vitriol and stuff that you see, even, Ro, like, even in your comment section, all your videos and stuff, with folk, and I, I promise you, they, it can't be, that, like, these got to be, like, Russians. I don't care. Or whoever it is. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, because, like, some of the stuff they say, and, like, we don't even talk like that. You know, Ebonics is off. But anyway, so, like, you know what I mean? Like, so, but, I mean, like, in real life, and then even the reaction to my video, it has been mostly love. Like, yo, this is what I'm talking about. I've been trying to say this. Yo, he said what I've been trying to say, but he said it in two minutes and, 50, uh, two minutes and 15 seconds. Um, you know, so so the reaction has been just one of shock. People are, 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 are you know, kind of surprised that, I guess, uh, somebody from, I don't, I don't know, I, 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 I think I bring something a little bit different than a typical person giving their political opinion, you know, or talking about who they want to endorse, just the way I presented it and such. So it's been overall positive. Even in real life, I'm out here in L.A., I went to a day party a few weeks back, you know what I'm saying? I, I actually got a uh, Kamala 2020 tank top, you know what I'm saying, just to uh, go to that, that that day party. And I rocked it up there, and it's a, it's a black party. And um, I walk in there, and, I mean, from the door, I'm just getting compliment after compliment after compliment on the shirt. I'm like, okay. Folk either, and it's, it's crazy. Like, people have a hunger for her, man. It's, it's wild out here in real life. So I'm not even letting social media, you know what I mean, like really, really, you know, guide me. And there's some people, even on Facebook, people I went to college with who are skeptical or might believe some of the stuff. But as I put the video in, I got people coming back, coming back to me saying, yo, I, you know, I was against her or whatever. But now, like, since you did that video, like, you convinced me I'm voting for it. Or, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do some more research. So it's been good. Kelly? Yeah, so considering that your video is viral now, has anybody from Kamala Harris's camp uh, reached out to you? <laughs> yeah, that's the crazy part. That's when I knew it got real. So <laughs> I posted this video I, on, on, on that morning, and, um, you know, I, I knew, first of all, like, I knew it was going to do numbers, but, like, just because I'm like, no one else is doing this, man. And, like, and I do I do these kind of videos all the time just on other topics, you know, usually it's about dating or relationships, something like that. But really it's anything that, that could be, you know, encompassed in current events. But um, it got real. I remember I was looking at my uh, my uh, my phone, and when did it get real? It's uh, I saw a notification. It said, Maya Harris liked your tweet. And I'm like, whoa, hold up. So I open up uh, uh, Twitter, and... Um, I see not only has Maya Harris liked the tweet, but she mentioned me, you know, and, and actually, like, uh, embedded the video on her profile. I was like, son. I, I was at my desk. I had to get up and just take off. I was like, yeah, I, people in the office must have thought I was crazy. I started just laughing out loud. Um, so, yeah, uh, that was pretty cool. Um, Douglas followed me. Um, I followed him, so we follow each other now. Um, Kamala's niece, Mina Harris, we've... Um, you know, we've uh, followed each other back and had a little bit of conversation and such. So it's been uh, it's been all positive. It's been all love. I haven't heard from Kamala yet, but I don't expect it because, uh, you know, she's busy. She got race with me. <laughs> uh, Malik, you got a question? No, I don't. You ain't got a question? I, I mean, you got to Fine, all right. Covered. Drew, I'm going to watch you all the time, baby. Say something. I'm, try, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give the damn black conservatives something, something to say, but that's fine. Uh, Drew, Malik, no, for real, bro, I respect you, bro. Say something, please. I, I know you got something. I mean, I think that I think you He ain't got nothing. <laughs> I think you guys pretty much covered it. Um, you know, the question that I would have asked is how, what was the reception have been, but Kelly has already asked that. So, and whether or not they called you, and so they contacted you. I mean, it's nothing negative I can say about anything. You know, I, don't, I can't even think of any questions really to ask because between Roland and my panelists here, they pretty much covered it. So, well, congratulations. Well, stop wasting time then. <laughs> well, hold up. Well, hold up. 
Well, well, since since you're the conservative on the panel, hold up. I'm, I'm, I would say this though, from a conservative standpoint, this is actually one of the other reasons I'm actually supporting Kamala. So, not only is she, you know, able to get, you know, folk either from the moderate left and so on, but I think that, you know, one of the things that that, that really gives me the confidence in her is her prosecutorial background Mm -hmm. um actually will dip into some of that conservative bucket some of those folks that's on the trunk on on, on the fence who are not really down with what's going on who feel that you know this current administration is 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 uh antithetical to their actual moral beliefs and such as conservatives and it's a lot on them i know that um i think that uh especially uh we're talking places like iowa um where those you know middle america white women when they see law enforcement when they see attorney general da they're like you know what i in their you know american cultural experience they're going to equate that with safety they're going to equate that with something good you know what i'm saying so i think that actually might work out i, I actually count on that working out her favor so um this is another reason i'm uh i'm on a train you convinced we shall see <laughs> But Malik still gonna, but Malik gonna still vote for Trump. It don't matter. So don't do that, bro. Please. No, straight up. No, he already said. He already said he voted for Trump. A black man from Mississippi. Yes, from Mississippi, voted for Trump. November. Keep America Great don't 2020. Say that. Malik. Yes. Why, dog? Come on, man. <laughs> Why, bruh? I, I do plan on voting for Trump in 2020. He still ain't explain oh, why. And, and even and, and he still honest, ain't explain why. And to be honest, even if I were a Democrat, it's unlikely that I would support Kamala Harris. Oh, all right. Well, I mean, that's cool. I, I can understand, you know, folks. Here's the thing. My, my whole purpose was like, look, you can, you know, people can support who they want to support, you know, say, as far as the Democratic field. It's just that, yo, let the information be real and be honest and stuff. You know, like, like let it be based off of fact and reality, not off of this myth that this black woman from a civil rights family from Oakland uh, who went to Howard, who pledged Alpha Chapter, a.k.a. Spring 86, somehow hates black men. Like, that is not believable. That's you had to tell me like that Santa Claus is not only real but stopped in the hood first. Like that's what I'm saying. Level. Like it's just not factual. That's what I'm saying. Like that's the that's what started. It was like you y'all telling me she hate black people. She locked up thousands of black. Like I look at the record. I'm like yo, the numbers say a completely different story. So, but you so, know, but you know, it's crazy, not. You know. But you know, it's not conservative saying this. These are actual liberals, progressives You're who right. are saying this about her. That, right. that that and some uh, Russian bots. Uh, <laughs> You're right, Drew. Con- Comments, man. Look, man, we appreciate it. A hilarious video. Great job. Uh, and uh, good luck in the future. I appreciate it. Thank you. Aggie Pride. All right. Thanks a bunch. Uh, All right, folks. Back to our Roadmark Unfiltered video in just one moment. That's my homeboy there, uh, Gerald Albright, one of the folks performing at the Life Lux Jazz Experience in Cabo, November 7th through 11th. I'm going to be there as well. Weekend-long event held the Omnia Day Club in Los Cabos, nestled on the Sea of Cortez in Los Cabos, Mexico. Folks, it's going to be an amazing time over those four days. We're going to have lots of great food and drink and golf and spa, health and wellness, you name it. The second annual Life Lux Jazz Experience. Of course, some great people, entertainers are going to be there. Comedian Mark Curry, Gerald Albright, Alex Bunyong, Raul Madon, Incognito, Pieces of a Dream, Kirk Whalem, Average White Band, Dirk Donnie McClurkin, Shalea, Roy Ayers, Tom Brown, Ronnie Laws, and Ernest Quarles. I'll be broadcasting Roller Martin Unfiltered for that Thursday and Friday there as well. And so we want you to be in the house. It's going to be a great time. Uh, go to lifeluxjazz.com, L-I-F-E-L-U-X-E-J-A-Z-Z.com for more information. Packages are going fast. You also want to book it soon so your airline tickets are not crazy high. So go to lifeluxjazz.com. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video. 